Hello everybody. Welcome to KLT Charting's uh, November flush tube video. Um, late again, as always, but uh, come on, you've come to expect it now, haven't you? If I was to actually get the fabrics done and the flush tube video up on the first, you'd think it was a fake. <laughs> you think somebody was just impersonating me. You must be used to how useless I am by now. Um, so anyway, here we go, late. Afraid it's just one thing after another, as always. Um, little monster hasn't been well. He was off school all of last week, which meant getting anything done was near on impossible. Um, and then general pregnancy stuff, just being tired and all that sort of fun, fun stuff that keeps getting me delayed on getting the video. I've actually had the fabric done for quite a few, well, a week or so now. Um, but trying to find time to actually sit down and uh, get the video done so that I can show you has been, well, it's just been near on impossible. Anyway, I'm here now. Uh, I have fabrics to show you um, and then just a couple of bits to run through and then I will leave you to your day. For those of you who only tune in, and I know there's a few of you so don't deny it, um, for those of you who only tune in to see the little monster, uh, he's at nursery today I'm afraid. I finally got some peace and quiet apart from the bird chirping in the background every now and again. Um, Nathan is at nursery so if you've only tuned in to see him, sorry to disappoint. Oh well. <laughs> Right, so this is the fabric. Um, I was racking my brain sort of October, uh, very, very early November, trying to think of what I could do. Um, and I was out in the kitchen, sorting a few bits out, you know, washing up, that sort of thing. And we'd had um, a really strong wind the night before. And I could hardly see any of my grass. I've got a reasonable size garden. It's not massive, but it's a nice size. Um, and I could hardly see any of the grass at all. It was just absolutely littered with brown leaves. Um, and with that, as I was looking out the window thinking, oh, browns would be nice. One of my neighbours, a couple of doors down, lit a bonfire and all the smoke just blew across. But I thought, oh, smoke, brown, oh. Um, I know Americans don't celebrate it, but as soon as I'm English, uh, we actually have Guy Fawkes Night in November, which is November the 5th. So I know it's past, but still, um, which is also bonfire. People call it bonfire night, Guy Fawkes Night. It's also my daughter's birthday. She is a bonfire baby, we call her. Um, so I did want to do something sort of bonfire-y. Uh, as I said in last month's video, this time last year, we were still helping Shell Cook with the launch of her book. So you had an out-of-orbit fabric for November last year. This year, I wanted to do something sort of Kira-related because of her birthday. And as I say, the leaves when I looked at the garden. So anyway, this is bonfires. It's not reds and oranges, as you might expect with the name um, but if you're building a bonfire you choose wood and the leaves and the garden so anyway browns and greys we have I do apologize the weather is absolutely useless today I don't have very good light at all but this is the 14 count Ada as always when I'm filming you never know how well it's going to come out um, but we have different shades of browns and then we have some grey sort of patches I think it's going to be another one of those that's going to show up better in uh, real life. So that is the 14 count Ada. And then we have the 28 count Brittany Evenweave, which is has always come out a bit paler. That's the 14 there on the back of that chair. Um, can you see how oh, they look pretty similar actually, don't they, on the video? Mm -hmm. if you can see that browns and greys it's very nice it's very subtle i think um as i said before if i don't like something it doesn't get released so i'm always going to like it um but it's nice to me this when you're looking for a fabric you don't want anything too loud too in your face that clashes too much um because it just doesn't help your stitching basically and then this month sparkly fabric I have done 14 count it's quite a big piece but and this has actually come out quite a bit stronger normally the opals come out a little bit paler but this one's come out stronger you can see better there see oh look at the sparkles oh I think you can actually get a better idea there of the colours as well so there you go browns and greys mixing together for bonfires um, I will get that, well, probably, I'll get that on the website soon. In fact, by the time this video is uploaded to Facebook, um, I should imagine they'll already be on the website. 
Um, and those of course will be available even though we're already at the 15th they will only be available during November. Um, normally I'd say oh, I'll leave it up for an extra few days or something for those people who haven't got around to buying but this is one of the things I wanted to get to. Um, I am taking all of hand dyed fabric off of the website at the end of this month. Um, we were told last month that the clubs would be coming off and they have so if you're in the monthly clubs the mini clubs the stash club and the fabric clubs they're all the same they're still saying st still staying um and that after the end of this month once i've caught up on orders and things like that um that's the only dying i'm going to be doing for definitely the rest of the year definitely january next year possibly even february I'm gonna have to just see how things go when the baby turns up all that sort of stuff the baby's not due until the 18th of January, uh, and I usually go over. All three of my children have been five days late. So we're looking probably early 20s in January, which means even come February, I'm probably not going to be up to dying. Um, so yes, yeah, so I won't be leaving the November fabric longer than usual because everything's going. You'll still be able to buy charts from me, of course. And as I've said, if you're in the monthly clubs, those will stay. So you'll still get your invoices on or around the first of the month, uh, depending on what's going on. Um, so if there are any fabrics that you would like to get from KLT Charting before the end of the year, you've literally only got like two weeks left. Um, I've tried to carry on as long as I can, but it's starting to hurt now. I'm finding the sessions that I can actually do dying are getting shorter and shorter. It doesn't help that I've got what I think is a trap nerve or something like that. It's kind of at the top of my leg, almost my bum, if that makes any sense. Um, but I think it's my leg. <laughs> trap nerve, so standing for too long is hurting. Um, it hurts my back, it hurts all around my stomach. <laughs> I sound like all I'm doing is whinging, but I'm really trying not to. I'm trying just to explain how things are. Uh, and why I'm making the decisions that I'm making. So there we go, fabrics will be gone by the end of the month, which means then I have the whole of December, what's there of December when you're not working, to get caught up on orders, and then January is baby time. February, I'm gonna play it by ear, see how it goes. It's unlikely fabric will be back in February, um, and I just have to see how things go as to whether or not it comes back in March. It's a watch this space moment, as always. Um, you can't plan it. It's one of those things. Um, but as I say, charts will still be there. Um, I'm hoping the downtime that I have from f uh, fabric dyeing, I might be able to get a few more charts done. I have a stack like this of stuff that needs. I've got uh, charts from Shell Cook sitting in my email box. Um, I've got charts from my uh, pictures, artwork from my other artists uh, to get done. I have got millions of ideas floating around in my head there's more in dogs that, in words dogs that i want to get done so hopefully some downtime from the dying might mean a few new charts going up and they will not be coming off the website at all um just bear in mind that i asked for 24 hours for sending pdf charts out um, and those are working hours so if you order say 10 o'clock on a friday night I've actually got until 10 o'clock Monday night to get your chat emailed to you. I try not to work weekends if I can. That's family time. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, so yes, so I get those. I'll still get those sent out. And obviously once we get into January, if I do suddenly get taken into hospital or anything like that, um, I'd appreciate it if you could just bear in mind that if I'm you know, in labour, I'm not going to be in a position for sending chats out. Seems silly, but sometimes it's worth saying. Um, the other thing that is worth saying at the moment, and it came up in group, well, I posted in group on Saturday morning, which is not my ideal way of starting a Saturday, but it came up. So I want to say it here as well, just in case there's anybody watching the Flustu videos who's not in the Kelty Charting group on Facebook. Um, there was an incident in one of the groups on Facebook where somebody asked, somebody put up a completed finish of one of my charts and it looked gorgeous it really really did I was so proud and it was just she framed it beautifully it was such a stunning finish um and then somebody else said oh I've got that chart I must do it and then somebody else said oh can you send me a copy of that she said yeah fine no problem pointed out that this is illegal ladies you are not allowed to share charts especially well pdf charts no it's just no 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 um the person's defence was, well, I bought it off the site fair and square and it didn't say anything about not being allowed to share charts. 
It does, it does, it does, it does. Okay. It may not be flashing neon lights every time you place an order. There is copyright information on every single one of my charts with the exception of one. And that was the um, peace chart that I did this time last year around the, the French terrorists uh, incidents, um, attacks, sorry. And that is the only chart that I gave up my copyrights to. Um, so that you could share it as many times as you wanted. Other than that, that is the only chart and there will always be, of course there's always going to be one, you know, one exception, but it will has to come explicitly from me. Otherwise, if it says the little C with the little circle around it on the bottom of the chart, KLT charting, that means it's protected by copyright laws. You cannot share a PDF. You can't email it, you can't print it and give it to somebody else at all. The only way you can pass along one of my charts is if you have bought a printed copy from me and you either don't want to do it now or you have done it and you're finished with it and if you made a working copy you photocopied it which is fine and made a working copy to keep the original neat and tidy you have to have destroyed the working copy before you sell or pass along the original it has to be the only one in existence that you have bought and then you can sell it that is absolutely fine but PDFs, you can't sell, you can't trade, you can't pass along, you can't barter with. Um, copyright is something that affects the designers in this industry a lot. And I know it feels like we bang on about it sometimes, which is why I try not to in group. But when this lady said, well, it doesn't say anything on the website, as it does. If you look in the terms and conditions, as well as being on the actual charts, if you look in the terms and conditions, it does say you can't share PDFs, you can't give away PDFs. Um, sorry to bang on I just really want to make that clear because it's so important the chart in question costs £4.25 if you can't afford that how are you going to afford the threads, the fabric, the time and it was a charity chart as well which really was a double sting in the tail um, which means half the money it would have gone to charity if there had been a sale for it which there hasn't been um, but anyway that's enough of that. I'm tired of hearing myself go on about it, to be honest. I just wanted to make it clear. That's how the land lies. Most importantly, though, if you ever have any questions about this, please, please just ask. Um, I think I'm a pretty approachable person. And even if I'm not, there are tons of designers out there who will happily answer copyright questions. Um, please ask instead of assuming. So there we go. That's me off my soapbox about <laughs> copyright. Um, I've shown you some fabrics. I've told you about hand dyed fabric going at the end of November. What else did I have to tell you? Hmm. Don't forget we've still got the Love Heart Sam, Sal Stitch Along. Uh, sales are still open for that um, and will be until I think it's sometime in March next year. Uh, I'd have to check on the exact date because I haven't got it written in front of me. Um, the fabric because you have the option of buying the fabric with that, the option for that will be going soon as well. Don't forget that. So if you want fabric from me for the stitch along, uh, you need to get that done by the end of the month. But the actual chart sales, the PDF sales, um, will be open for a little while yet. But don't miss out on that one. And then, what else was it? I can't remember now. See, this is what Baby Brain does for you um, when you don't write lists of things. Uh, so, being that I can't think of anything else off the top of my head, I will press stop on the video and then I'll go, ah, I forgot to turn that. Mind. Uh, I can't think of anything else, so it's that time when I show you my bump and you can see how big I'm getting and why life is getting just a little bit slower. If that's possible, much slower. I think I'll be going backwards. But here we are. I am 30 weeks and 6 days, so I'll be 31 weeks tomorrow. Getting close now. As I say, I usually give five days over. I was at the hospital yesterday. They are testing me for gestational diabetes because they think the baby's going to be big. But I had the same test with Nathan and that all came back fine. I think it's just going to be another big baby. So here you go. This is my bump at nearly 31 weeks. Right. See? <laughs> He's going to be big. Isn't he? Yes, he is. I don't really. I, I'm not really sure how well an idea you're getting. I don't know how well you can see the bump in the video, but 
Um, it looks the same to me as it always does, but then again, I, I look at myself every day instead of just sort of once a month or so. Uh, so there you go, that's the bump, the large bump. Um, I will try, <laughs> I'm always trying, but I will try and get the December fab, uh, stuff done earlier because even though fabric sales will be coming off the website, there will still be a December fabric for my monthly club members. Um, and I will try and get that video done before the 15th. <laughs> I'll give it a go, see how it works, but I'm promising nothing. I've given up promising now, just in case. Anyway, enough of me rambling on. Um, I will see you all very, very soon.